here in Clearwater, Florida for card show number 43 this year. This is one of the local shows in Florida that I go to every single month. So this is gonna be a split vlog just like last week. Gonna go around and find some pickups and then go table towards the end. So the first part of the show, Steven is gonna be manning the table. What's up guys, how we doing? I'm excited for the show and it's gonna be another fun day in Clearwater, Florida. So let's see what happens. Good friend over here, Mark. We're splitting a table today. What's up? Let's get busy. Yeah, let's see how do we do. First pickup of the show is this nice batter up of Roger Hornsby. Take a look at this right here. SGC2. Pick this up for $100. I feel like most people don't know who Rogers Hornsby is, so I want to talk a little bit about him. First off, he was the only player that's ever had a season where it was 4,400. 40 stolen bases and a 400 batting average. In fact, in one season, he batted 424, number that has not been hit since. A fun fact about him is he wouldn't actually read the newspaper or watch movies thinking that it would affect his eyesight, which would hinder his batting capabilities. So... I made today's trivia question all about Rogers Hornsby. How many triple crowns did he win in his career? Is it A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, or D, 5? Make sure to comment your answer down below in the comment section, and I'll let you know if you got it right or wrong. Two quick Brady pickups. These two SGCs are 1, 9, half, 110 from 2004 for $140. Taking a look at a possible 1934 Lou Gehrig uh, reprint or counterfeit, but this card is probably the best fake I've seen. A lot of people think the Ovations is a good fake just because of the foil and everything like this, but this card has a thicker stock. The printing is pretty close. Under loop, it looks solid compared to other ones that are typically photocopied, so we're analyzing it right now. So a lot of dealers were split on whether this card was real or not. I said it was fake. Reasons why is first off, the card stock was too thick. On top of it, on the back, the periods in quotes didn't match up to the real examples. The printing was close, but it wasn't perfect, and it didn't smell old. It smelled like a brand new card. So with all the evidence that was present, I determined it was fake. Here with Max Museum Podcast, and recently, if you've been on Instagram or Twitter, you'd see the Kawhi Leonard autograph that's been traced. Well, he was the original guy that found the autograph, so I want to tell his story on how he found this card because it's really helping the hobby getting any forgeries or alterations out of it. Yeah, so this was a card that I've been tracking the Kawhis for a while and anytime you see one pop up in a slab that you haven't seen before, it should raise some flags. So this one in particular had an authentic label but then the autograph was graded a 10. So um, I have pictures saved of, of the copy previously. The autos were very streaky in the past. This one was very bold pretty easy to match up and, and I did that and, and some other people ended up kind of verifying that as well. Picked up four cards for $40. Check these out. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, former president, confirmed by JSA that it was signed before the days when he started using an auto pen in 1959. He was still a member of the U.S. Senate, which is how he signified his signature there. Last week we were talking about the fake one. At one of the dealer tables, uh, 2000 Kobe Ovation Auto. Everybody knows the Kobe Bryant Auto. Unfortunately, there are a ton of counterfeits of that. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, the fake ones. Yeah. yeah, they use a cheap card stock on the fake ones. And then also, it's hard to tell on the fakes, but the from the side you can tell the thickness of it's wrong. The, the real ones is obviously real. Also on the backs, if you look at the upper deck stamp, you can see sometimes it's way wrong. Is yeah. it like a tad bit thicker, that one? Or no, the, or not? the fakes are. Oh, the yeah, fakes. Yeah. Just got another bulk lot purchases with eight different cards. Some basketball, some baseball, so check them out. Two more quick pickups. The Bart Star and the Joe Morgan for $40. Guys, we got another bulk lot here for $150. Steven picked up some basketball cards and I picked up some baseball.
rounds out looking for deals now. I finished my first round and now tabling. Only had $17 worth of sales uh, the last two hours, which kind of sucks, but we'll see how it ends up going. So as I go on, I'm showing you what I picked up today. Um, these are the like 1975-76 Marvel stickers. Um, it's, they're, they're not that easy to come by. You can obviously get them on eBay and stuff like that, anywhere from four to $10 a card based on the character. But uh, I was able to get this lot of 17 here for uh, 50 bucks. I don't have any of these and I'm trying to make this set. So super cool pickup, super cool, uh, cool buy today and uh, a little something for my birthday. So uh, that's about it really. Just sold one of the ultra modern basketball cards. That's what's really been moving at this show. No really vintage or baseball cards. So I just sold this to a subscriber, Edward. My Bowman LeBron nut. What's up guys? Awesome card. I appreciate doing business with you. Cool guy, man. Follow the channel. Love it. So the last pickup here at the table was this 81 Donruss Jack Nicholas, and it's gonna go straight into my golf PC. So remember Mark that we were tabling with? Oh, well, we ended up buying him out for all his slabs and the case itself. So we let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's an empty case. The buying machine, Ryan. So I'll show you guys what we bought. Don't take this off because it's all. And that, guys, is how you end a show. Just bought out a collection. We hit also 4,000 subscribers, so super happy with that one. Not sure yet what's going to be happening next weekend, but end of the month, we're going to be going to Chantilly and also the Dallas Card Show, followed by the Charlotte Show in the first week of November. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.